They say war breeds innovation, and sometimes the smartest inventions don't come from labs or factories, but from desperation in the dirt. During World War II, soldiers discovered a field-borne method to turn foul, parasite-ridden puddles into safe drinking water, with nothing more than sand, fire, and a bit of chemistry instinct. And here's the kicker. It still works today. No fancy gear, no brand-name filters, just brain power and grit. Stick around, because this wartime hack could save your life when your tap runs dry. And if you're new here at Prepper Survival Blueprint, hit that subscribe button now. We don't just talk survival. We live it. By 1942, soldiers weren't just dodging bullets. They were fighting off invisible enemies, dysentery, cholera, and typhoid. These diseases took out more troops than direct combat in some regions. In the blistering North African deserts, the humid jungles of the Pacific, and the muddy fields of Eastern Europe, water wasn't just scarce, it was deadly. The military issued purification tablets when they could, but supply lines broke, heat ruined the tablets, and troops were often left stranded with only filthy puddles or swamp water. So what do you do when every drop could kill you? You innovate. Soldiers learned from the land, from Old World fieldcraft, and from necessity itself. They developed what's now called the sand and charcoal filtration method, a primitive-looking but genius system that turned death traps into drinkable water. Here's how it worked, and honestly, it still works just as effectively. Soldiers would dig a small pit near a water source, never directly in it, but close enough that groundwater could naturally seep in through the earth. That slow seepage was nature's first filter, as water passed through sand and soil layers that trapped debris, algae, and even some bacteria. What pooled in the pit was clearer, cleaner, and far less contaminated. But, you know, clarity doesn't mean safety, so the troops took it a step further. They'd scoop the filtered water into mess tins, then drop in charcoal from the campfire, crush just enough to create a gritty texture. That charcoal was more than just burnt wood. It was, in fact, a natural chemical magnet. Its porous surface absorbed toxins, odors, and chemical residues the same way modern activated carbon filters do today. Finally came the ultimate step, boiling. They brought that charcoal-infused water to a rolling boil for at least ten minutes. Boiling killed the pathogens, bacteria, and parasites that filtration couldn't catch. The result? Clean, safe, surprisingly good-tasting water made with nothing but sand, fire, and human ingenuity. Modern chemistry has since proven those soldiers right. Charcoal, especially when heated, becomes activated, meaning it forms millions of microscopic pores that trap harmful substances. One gram of activated charcoal can have a surface area larger than a football field. That's why it's still used in everything from Brita filters to emergency water purification systems today. The sand and charcoal combo targets both sides of contamination. The sand handles the visible stuff. Mud, debris, organic matter. The charcoal takes care of the invisible, chemical residues, odors, and microscopic impurities. Then boiling finishes the job by eliminating the living threats, bacteria, protozoa, and viruses. What makes this method brilliant is its balance of chemistry and practicality. It requires no tools, no special filters, and no electricity. 
just earth, heat, and fire, the same elements humanity has relied on for thousands of years. Now, don't get me wrong, modern filters are amazing, but in a true grid-down situation, when your gear fails, batteries die, or replacement cartridges aren't an option, this method wins every time. It's sustainable, repeatable, and totally low-tech. Unlike chlorine tablets, this method won't leave a bitter chemical taste. Unlike solar stills, it doesn't take all day to produce a single cup of water. And unlike commercial filters, it never clogs or breaks. It's the kind of solution that doesn't depend on supply chains. It depends on you. Even modern survival experts and bushcrafters have tested it side by side with popular filters. The results? Nearly identical microbial safety and water clarity. Sure, it may not remove every heavy metal, but in most survival scenarios, it'll keep you alive, cleanly and confidently. Let's say you're off-grid, camping, or stuck after a disaster. Here's how to do what World War II soldiers did. Find a riverbank, lake edge, or even a muddy puddle. Dig a shallow pit about one to two feet deep nearby. Let the water naturally seep in. That's your first filtration. Stage. Once the water looks clearer, scoop it up carefully into a pot or canteen. All right, next, grab some charcoal from your fire. Crush it, not into dust, just coarse enough that it has texture, you know? Then drop it into your pot, add the water, and bring it to a hard boil for ten minutes. After that, let it cool and strain it through a clean cloth or your shirt, if necessary. You'll end up with clear, safe, drinkable water that tastes far better than plain, boiled water. This is the kind of old-school skill that separates survivors from the unprepared. It's simple science. World War II wasn't just a fight of nations, it was a test of human adaptability. Those soldiers, armed with little more than grit and resourcefulness, rediscovered what ancient civilizations already knew, that nature gives us the tools to survive if we understand how to use them. We live in a time of convenience, bottled water, UV pens, electronic filters. But what happens when the grid fails? When your gadgets die? That's when these forgotten methods shine again. This isn't nostalgia. It's preparedness. The past still teaches us how to outlast the future. So, whether you're a prepper, adventurer, or just someone who values self-reliance, try building your own mini World War II style filtration setup. Experiment with different soils. Play with layering charcoal and sand. You'll see the results instantly. Clear, safe, drinkable water straight from the ground. <laughs> 